else. I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to make a meatloaf. This is two pounds of ground beef. It's 85% lean. I have a quarter piece of shop cheddar cheese that I grated. I'm going to throw into the bowl. I also have a half of a white onion and I have it diced. And I also have a quarter of a pepper. So I'm just going to get this into the bowl. And tonight's the night of using things up. Not that I needed to use the onion, the, the pepper, or the cheese, but um, I took the hamburger out yesterday and it unthawed and I want to get it cooked. Um, tomorrow I won't have to cook a meal if I make it tonight. So my whole idea is to prep ahead and I'm also going to do chicken. So there yeah, we got all that in there. So we're going to give it some fresh garlic. It's a minced garlic. It's from the jar. So I would say about a teaspoon garlic is good for you. So because I want to use up this Parmesan cheese, I will show you how much I have in here. See, there's not much, so we're getting rid of it. Okay, I got my oven on to 350. I have these little tiny pans greased. I'm going to make individual meatloafs. And um, if somebody wants half of one or even a whole one, it will be ready. I'm going to put some salt. This I usually use my Himalayan, but I didn't want to get it out of the cupboard. That was just easy. I have some fresh ground pepper. I'm going to just take a pinch of it. I also have some basil right here. I'm going to put some of that in there. So I'm just going to give that a squirt. So about a teaspoon of basil, if you got chopped basil, if you got dried basil, or if you have this basil, and I'll show you what it looks like. And that's my oven that's going off. Okay. And I have some Sweet Baby Rays. There's not much left in the jar. And I'm trying to use things up, so I'm going to add that to my meatloaf. I'm sorry about the shaking. I'm trying to get the, the jar open. And I'm going to put some panko. These are just four C's, panko, breadcrumbs. So I guess I need to wait until that comes down. So I'm just going to pop that into my bowl because I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to give a handful of breadcrumbs. I would say about a half a cup. And I got to get me an egg. So with the cheeses and with the onions and the pepper and the garlic and the seasonings and you can add um, Sweet Baby Ray's, you can add any barbecue sauce you got or you can add ketchup. Make it your own. So I'm going to keep squirting that. I'm just going to grab me an egg and I'll bring, bring you back. Okay, you can see I didn't have very much barbecue sauce in that. That's probably two tablespoons and I have an egg slightly beaten. I have two containers there that are two small mini baking dishes. If I need more, I've got a bunch of them here. I also have the other part of the pepper, the cheese, and the um, onion there that I'm going to probably use for another meal. So we're going to get this mixed. I'll mix this up and I'll bring you back. Okay, we got this mixed. I did mix it with my hands. And I'm going to just add it to our container. If you, have, if you want to use this in a big um, loaf pan or, or any type of baking dish, I'm just going to do individual because I'm not sure who's going to eat tomorrow and that way there'll be food ready. I'm also going to cook some chicken and um, some different types of potatoes. I've got some little tiny, um, like... I don't know what type of little red potatoes in there and I also have some sweet potato and I also have regular potatoes I could do um, a scalloped I have some spinach to serve this with or I have some sliced tomato um, so I'm just making some individual meatloafs and this is how they look and I'm gonna put them on a rack I got it at 350 I'm gonna bake them till they're done I'm thinking 30 minutes and I'll bring you back Okay, you can see that I'm prepping for two meals. I'm prepping the little tiny mini meatloafs and I'm also prepping the salsa chicken. So two meals are made ahead and then when I get busy, there will be meals made.
plus I'm using things up. So I'm going to bring you back when these come out of the oven. They're at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. I'm back. So how you know they're done is when you take a fork and you got that give on the meat, that is, nothing's coming from it and it's tough. Then you got all this liquid here. That's the reason why I build it up around there and I push it in so the grease, you can just dump it off. See all that grease in there? You could dump that. So anyways, this is prepping. These are mini meatloafs, and these are going to taste great. You're going to taste the onion, the garlic, the pepper, the two different cheeses, and you also got sweet baby rays in there, and uh, you got some basil. So, these are going to taste awesome. So, I hope you enjoy the recipe. Bye-bye now.